Hey everyone, welcome to another video on the channel. Today is Thursday, September 16th, 2021. We're going to be taking another look at BlackBerry stock. So before we get started, I'm not a financial advisor. This isn't financial advice, but just for entertainment and educational purposes. But getting right into BlackBerry, so we did have a green day today, which is always good. Although for the most part, you know, keeping it real, it was basically flat. We were up about three cents, which it's better to be down three cents, but not a whole lot of movement either way. And if we look at the chart, we could see it was super choppy today. It was just down and up and down and up. And then it did have this nice push up towards the end of the day. It went down a little bit, but still ended green, uh, ending with that nice green candle. So, you know, that's good to see, but there was no consolidation really anywhere. It was a very choppy day. And again, if we look further out, if we just zoom out for a bit, it's basically holding this pattern. So it's basically been falling down to the mid nine level, finding a little bounce and kind of bouncing back and forth between then. But, <clears throat> but as we said yesterday, what is going to mix things up for BlackBerry? Uh, what's going to change? And we know that next Wednesday is BlackBerry's earnings are going to be released after market close on Wednesday. So I'm going to be looking out for that. We'll see how the market reacts. Um, there's also, I thought this is interesting, this article, BlackBerry has a chance of turning into a growth stock. Um, you know, it hits on the point that BlackBerry could grow uh, substantially more. Uh, it looks specifically at its free cash flow and how it's looking to increase it and whatnot. Um, but the problem is it's, uh, you know, it says here BlackBerry produced $893, $893 million in revenue for the year ending May 22nd. And analysts see lower sales to $781, but a recovery by May of 2023 to $954.1 million. Now, May of 2023 is uh, still a ways away. So, I mean, it might become much more profitable then, but how is that going to help us in the immediate term? And I think it goes back to what we've said in the past, how, you know, we're still waiting for BlackBerry to have either more partnerships announced like it had with Amazon and some of these automakers or else maybe some of the IP deals to go through with Facebook which would generate maybe potentially a couple billion dollars for the company if it could have those IP deals go through um, but that hasn't really happened yet so that's why we're kind of just bumping around in this range so we'll see what happens Wednesday I'm really curious to see how they deal with their earnings and I mean I don't have any insider information but uh, if we have a, a great earnings day that could only uh, help the stock I would think but who knows let me know what you think until then uh, I mean I'd be curious or surprised really if there's much movement as we've seen like yesterday we're up nine cents today we're up three cents tomorrow's Friday which is always a choppy day but I think Wednesday is going to be uh, more of a day to look out for, so we'll see what happens. But let me know what you think, if you're buying more BlackBerry shares, if you're selling, if you're holding. always like to hear what people are doing with theirs, and I'll catch you in the next one.